As we continue to work problems involving F equals MA, we come now to what's called Atwood's machine. We have a pulley, and it can be made with low friction pulley here. We have a rope going over the pulley, a massless rope, and we have two masses attached to that rope. And the uh, working uh, use of this, the two masses will have different mass. They're 4 kilograms, 6 kilograms. And we would like to know what is the acceleration of uh, each object and what is the tension in this rope or string. So Atwood's machine, uh, we use a pulley to redirect the tension force um, and we'll see how that operates. So to calculate the acceleration, we start by considering both masses as our system. So we're including both masses. And in looking at this, weight 1, 4 kilograms times acceleration due to gravity, would be weight 1 in newtons, and weight 2, 6 kilograms times 9.8. Do these forces uh, add together to enhance the motion, or are, are they opposing one another? Well, they're opposing one another. The weight 1 is going to slow down our acceleration, um, weight 2 is going to dominate the, uh, the system here, but we're going to have a, a little bit of competition, a little opposing forces, uh, you could say, for these two weights. They're not cooperating, they're opposing each other, so we have to do a subtraction of one or the other. It really doesn't matter which one uh, uh, you choose, but I'm going to use up as the positive direction. And this uh, dominant force here will be in the negative direction. And I can just visually inspect here. The lighter mass is going to accelerate upward. The heavier mass is going to accelerate downward. So we have uh, 4 times 9.8, an upward force. Um, in terms of the motion of the system, we have 6 times 9.8, a downward force regarding motion of the system. Um, and you can you know, somewhat think of you know, stretching out this rope in a straight vertical line. The uh, force here is opposed to the force here. So if I'm going to use this as kind of my anchor in the uh, reference uh, coordinate system, the 6 times 9.8 going downward, this 4 times 9.8 would be an opposing force and going upward. So that's the reason this term is positive. On the right side, my system includes both masses I must add the two masses together. The total mass that's accelerating, the total inertia, is 10 kilograms. So we do the calculation over here. You should check this out on your own calculator. Uh, but minus 19.6 newtons, the net force is downward. And we have uh, uh, 10 kilograms on the right times acceleration. We can find the value of the acceleration minus 1.96 meters per second squared. That's reasonable. This uh, 6 kilogram mass is accelerating towards the ground. Now there is another force here that was not written down. The two weights are forces. There is tension in the uh, string that connects the two masses. Why is the tension not part of this equation? That's one thing I said we're going to try to calculate anyway. Why not put it in now? Why not put a T in here for tension? The reason is it's an internal force. Our system includes the two masses uh, and the, the string between there. If the string has no mass, the force that's in the string is there. There is a force. There's a tension. But ten that tension is internal to the system. When we do F equals MA, we only write the external forces. The two weights are the external forces. So we've got that uh, uh, configuration and that result. Our 6 kilogram object is accelerating towards the ground. Uh, the 4 kilogram object has the same value of acceleration but opposite direction. It's going to accelerate upward. Okay, now let's find the tension. So let's uh, just focus in on the 4 kilogram object. The 4 kilogram object. The tension is upward on that object. The weight is downward. And we know the acceleration from our first uh, calculation. So as we write F equals MA, tension's in the positive direction. The uh, 4 times 9.8, that weight is a negative. So as we add in that force, we get a negative sign. 
the mass now for our system is only four kilograms. We're focusing our attention on just the four kilogram object. And we know its acceleration, its acceleration is upward. So it's a positive 1.96 meters per second squared. Again, you should check your own uh, calculations. And I came up with a tension of 47 newtons. Well, I just chose the four kilogram object. What would happen if we selected the six kilogram object as our object of interest? So this is now the right side of the pulley. The six kilogram object has a weight downward, has a tension upward. Again, tension is a positive term. Six times 9.8 is a negative term. Its force is downward. And then we have six. And remember the acceleration for this object is a negative number. It's accelerating downward, minus 1.96. It's crucial that you get the minus sign uh, inserted correctly. Uh, but the acceleration of the six kilogram object is in the negative direction. Doing the calculations, I come up with 47 newtons. Is that a surprise? The tension of the string right above the six kilogram object is 47 newtons. The tension of the string right above the four kilogram object is 47 newtons. No, we've discussed before, the tension is constant in the string. Now, it has uh, no diminishing uh, number, 47 newtons, and you don't have to calculate it twice. Once you are confident that you'll get the same number, you only need to calculate it one time. So you might want to set up your own Atwood's machine problem and try your own calculation and ask questions.